we have finally finished so that you can actually get a tour of how the house turned out after a year long remodel job. So come on in, let me be your tour guide. So clearly it doesn't look like it used to, clearly. So as you look back towards the front door, you will notice that it's not dark and there's no big wood dungeon, dungeon door. It is now light and airy and a beautiful set of new contemporary modern doors. We transformed the entryway. We took away all the arches. We squared everything off. You're going to see and hear that we don't have the little tiny dungeon windows anymore. We actually tore that all out and created this big, nice, beautiful window. So we've got a lot of light and airiness going on in here now. We took away the arches. You'll remember there was an arch doorway there and there were two arch doorways here. We just tore everything out. We raised everything up. So just a little forewarning that if you'd like to see how this house transformed into this look now, you can clearly go back and watch my videos from September of 2022, clear up until just recently. So if you're like, oh, I want to see how she did this dining room. Literally, I'm just telling you now, you can start watching my videos from last September when we purchased the home and started gutting it into what it looks like now. You can actually catch every step of the way that we created this. So if you want to see us tearing out this rock wall, because this wall used to be rock, just like that one, you can clearly see it happening. You can clearly see us tearing out all of the arches. You can clearly see us putting up more beams. So, like I said, if you want to follow this remodel, go back to September of 2021, actually. We started the remodel September of 2021, and we finished around October 2022. So, if you go back to September 21, you're going to start seeing us tearing this house apart. I think we went through 30 some, 35 dumpster changes. It was incredible. So you're going to see as we do this house tour that this house doesn't look anything like it used to look. You're going to see previous pictures. You're going to see dark wood floors. The house looked very, very country. So hopefully you're going to see the changes and you're going to see how much better it looks now. So this is the dining room area. You're going to see a lot of restoration hardware in this house because I love restoration hardware. The light fixtures restoration hardware, the tables restoration hardware. Almost every piece of furniture in this house was custom made for this house because you got to remember when I sold my previous home, all of that furniture was made for that home. So we came to this house with no furniture and we literally with my design in my head, created furniture for every room in this house. So let's get started. bedroom or the owner's retreat so come on in so you'll notice it looks totally different than the previous look the previous look was very country so we added the padded wall new chandeliers we mirrored this wall and did a bunch of woodwork and encased the TV and of course, over here is the owner's retreat sitting area. We put electric shades on all the windows. So at the push of a button, everything comes down and the room becomes dark. It's perfect. I'll stop it right there. So much more modern, contemporary, airy. Put in a set of doors. We could go out to the pool area. Opened all of this up, 
and created the owner's retreat bathroom. because this used to be a little tiny room and then this was a little tiny room. And so we created my makeup area. We decided to give us a very large shower versus the little tiny one that used to be here. We created a bathroom area for water so that he's got privacy with a frosty glass door. Of course, the tub in the middle, my bidet laundry area, boom, 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 a shower big enough for 20 people. We put in a very massive big window over here so that we could have lots and lots of daylight. When I was in the shower, I wanted to be able to feel like I was outside showering. So much, much, much nicer and bigger than the previous little tiny bathroom. Of course, the beautiful chandeliers, the under counter lighting, so pity, so pity. So let's go check out my closet. So, welcome to the closet. So you have to remember this area right here was a very long hallway, which led to a nursery, which led to a long hallway which led to a workout room. So we changed all of that. So you've just got this entryway here with the mirror, Lamar's closet, you'll see shortly. And then this way is my closet. You have to remember before, you used to have to go in over there to go into the closet, it was, it, it was weird. So anyways, let's go on in here. So in here, it's the new one-story closet. So I wanted this closet to be one floor, and I wanted everything to be on one floor, and I wanted to be able to access inside and outside for events, parties, whatever's going on in my closet. So that is why we invented and designed the shoe pods, because I wanted the pods to be out in the middle. I did not want walls and walls of shoes this time. I wanted pods just like you see in a department store. So we created the pods which had to be low enough that I could see all the way across in my closet. And you can clearly see each pod has a Lazy Susan on the inside which you can spin so that you can find your shoes. So we made purpose of everything like there's no space untouched like we're using all possible space in this closet we created a bar area over here so you've got all your drinking glasses we've got chilled champagne that we can put in here and we can set this up to serve cocktails and drinks over here of course we did all of the jewelry cabinets over here everything locks so each one of these compartments locks so all the jewelry stays locked up we've got drawers for bras and panties and whatnot of course i put boots underneath and then you're going to see that there's just massive shelving there's glass shelving there's regular shelving there's strip lighting we did the swarsy crystal handles everywhere so we outfitted everything with swarsy crystal and so we did up lighting in each one of the pods so there's frosted glass so there's up lighting in all the pods also i did create space for everything like everything is somewhat color coordinated we put in here three massive beautiful chandeliers i created again the scarf rack so of course this is the rack that holds all of the scarves it's on both sides so just pull it out and find your scarves 
that you want to wear. I do have another sitting area in here. Of course, more champagne, easy access to throw in the cooler real fast. So you can clearly see we've got two industrial racks, one over there, one over here. I'm sorry, a third and another one back here. So I wanted specific items to be setting out here periodically on display. It's rather cute. We did put mirrors behind here so that we could just move the clothing and still access a mirror so you can see we've got everything in its place. You know, the Louis Vuittons are all over here, Hermes Corner, Chanel, and then we've sprinkled other designers throughout. But um, we made, we, we just, we, we really used all the space in here as much as we could. You're gonna see that we have ring lights in here because we're constantly filming in here, whether it be for my YouTube channel, whether it be collaborations with other people, whether it be we're, we're taking pictures for Poshmark, it just doesn't matter. I mean, like we're always filming in here, so I always keep a couple ring lights in here at all times. We also have the, I call it the fur vault, but that is literally the area or the space where we keep all the leather jackets and furs and everything. So it's more climate controlled and out of the way. You'll remember in my other closet, it was up on the third floor, same amount of space here. But anyways, it's just, just we created an area for the sunglasses. Of course, over here is all my workout clothes uh, that's in this area over here. And like I said, we designed this to where we could have inside, outside. So we have access outside for parties. We still have to put a fountain out here. Um, we can put high boys out here, serve champagne out here. Uh, everything is on cameras, alarm systems, glass breakage. We have a lot of security, cameras everywhere. Cameras outside, cameras inside, glass breakage, I mean like, bars that fall down from the <laughs> attic. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, this is the new and improved Truth Aroma Closet on steroids because it's just much more conducive to having parties and filming in. So let's go check out the Mars Closet. So this area in here used to be a nursery. Anyways, we created this space for a Mars closet. So we put a window in here so that he'd have access to being able to see outside. We've got shades everywhere, glass breakage everywhere. We created and built out this closet for him with the strip lighting. One of the great touches I like, I put not only in here, but I put in my closet too, are these garment rods and so literally you pull them out you can hang your clothes so you can check out what you want to wear but they also go out of the way so they're not taking up space but i'm like i just love them i, I love them everybody should have a couple garment rods in their closet everybody so anyways this is the man man's closet lamar's closet uh created lots of drawers for him lots of space for all his clothes to hang as well as a bench to sit on to be able to put his clothes on and then of course shoes and more drawers and everything in this corner so um it's, it's the perfect size closet so let's go see some more house To the theater room or the media room or whatever you want to call it so we created this whole look we painted everything we carpeted everything it doesn't look anything like it did before you can clearly see that so we created a concession area where we've got a under counter fridge to be able to put water and drinks into we've got a popcorn machine we've got storage areas for everything and then I had custom theater seating. This is the kind of theater seating I like because I like to sprawl out when I'm watching a movie. We still have one more section, like that one right there, coming that's gonna be sitting over here. And of course, we're hoping to get the treadmill out of here one of these days because hopefully Lamar won't need to be using my treadmill anymore and it'll go back upstairs in the gym where it belongs. But anyways, I wanted some padded walls in here, 
I wanted my type of theater seating. Of course, we have a room off of the theater where we keep all the grandkids' toys and the IT stuff and whatnot in that room. But yeah, the little chairs are for the grandkids. Lots of pillows, lots of blankets, lots of ways to get cozy. And of course, we've got a black stallion in the corner. This is what the house looks like. It is so much prettier than before. It's a beautiful white. Before it was a very kind of mustard yellow. Look at this beautiful landscaping, which prior there was really no landscaping. Very just plain. Over here we have the pond which was a very icky, icky brown. She has now turned it to a very pretty blue. Along that fence line over there, she put screening up, which is just a bunch of privacy trees. So yes, it has turned out beautifully. Okay, and here she went ahead and built a fence for my backyard. Just super pretty. Green grass. We have the outdoor living area, which is my favorite. And then the pool area. And then you have the putting green right over there. So basically guys, that is a tour of the entire first floor of this beautiful estate. Um, we are going to do part two and get that one to you next week. Part two will be the entire second floor uh, and apartment and whatnot. Everything that's above us. So it uh, we increased the square footage of the estate by a lot. Um, I think when we bought the estate is around 14,000 square feet. So um, with the addition of the apartment and everything that we did, I think we've increased the square footage to probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 or 18,000 square feet now. And that does not include the barn, barn dominion, Tashina's house. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching part one. Next week we will be bringing you part two. And uh, yeah, I'm just ecstatic to finally bring you the finished look. And like I said, if you want to see anything, like if you want to see how we did the theater room or how we did my closet or how we did the kitchen, you can start watching the renovation from September of 21 all the way up until now. And you will get to see us designing the pool, pouring the pool, that was one of the first things that we did, um, building the outdoor kitchen area, everything. I mean, you get to see everything. So if you're interested in the renovation of this estate, like I said, go back to September of 21 in my channel and you can see step by step how we redid everything in this house. So make sure you check out my link tree. We're going to post it right here. 
Check it out. All of my social media platforms are on it. And until next week for part two, bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,